All right, guys, so I know it's been a while since I did an update. Um, I got a lot of parts ordered, and I'm working on a lot of little things. Um, if you look at the axle, you can see we got the new hydraulic ram, all new pins, everything in place, carrier, all the slack adjusters. And I had some Type 20 roto chambers. Um, those things are pretty expensive, still rare, hard to find. Ended up just putting some Type 20s on here. It's going to be a little close on the shock mount, but I think I can, um, once it gets in there, it's going to pass on the clearing. I can turn that clamp a little bit if I need to. Shocks will be here this week. We'll get those put on. Um, but did get the brakes done. Pads are still in pretty good shape. I, you know, cleaned up everything inside the axle really good. Put all new seals in it. Um, you know, so from that point, I did have the air brakes. Uh, just got that done. The slack adjusters here, they do not make an eight and a half inch. These are 10 spline, inch and a half shaft, and they don't make an eight and a half anymore. So as you can see, did a little modification there. Got it up to eight and a half. I think it's gonna work fine. Um, did wanna show y'all how these work. So basically these slack adjusters on these air systems, you can control here. Um, you know, to set the tension where it's right up to your drum. Like I said, most big trucks, commercial trucks have those on them. Um, most have automatics. I want to stick with the manuals on these because I want to be able to control them. Um, basically, that comes out, actuates, turns your little S cam and rollers, and then when it does that, it expands the brake pads. So, just give you a quick example of that. And most of all this, these parts here were on the truck. I haven't changed any of that. So, put a little air on the actuator. You can see the S cam turns. And then when the air releases, and you can fine tune, like I said, on that slack adjuster. Um, I did order a new E7 Bendix uh, brake controller for inside the cab. And we'll be running half inch lines to the back to keep these, um, to actuate these. So anyway, just wanted to show you all the brakes, how they work. What we're gonna do is, um, plan is, got lots of these parts coming in this week. I had to get a new air compressor, put a passenger seat. The air compressor before was a 45 degree. I'll show that in a little bit later video. Waiting on the straight air compressor to get here. And also we got the transmission here. As you can see, it's been rebuilt by Wildcat Transmission. And hopefully get the drums on. We'll get these back tires on. We're gonna get the bed off and I ordered the material for the roll cage. We'll start getting that built. As soon as we get the roll cage built, we can get this body off, get the transmission in, get the air compressor, all the other components, get everything hooked up, pretty much get this thing running and driving. It'll just be waiting on the cab of the truck. So just wanna give it a quick update today. I know I haven't had anything up, but I do have a lot of parts on order and have a lot of pieces moving. And so we should have another update pretty soon with a little more progress. And Kelsey's checking our video out. Uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button down in the right-hand corner. Appreciate it, and uh, catch you all in the next one.